So let me show you a little bit of the images. Now this, um, I just put this on top, and uh, it is a piece of um, some sort of like silky material um, that is like crushed, like crushed, not crushed velvet, I don't know. Uh, but uh, I sewn through it. I was doing something, and it didn't turn out the way I liked it, and I cut this piece off, and then I did it again, whatever it is I was doing, and uh, I was going to throw this out, but again, as you know, well, don't throw out anything because we can still cut bits and pieces of this. It has uh, some sewing on it. It has um, like a double edge here and so on. It's still very, very usable, so actually I might use it in uh, these tags. I'll put that in my little uh, box here of these different materials that I'm going to be using. So now, as far as um, images and a little bit more of the papers that I've chosen, uh, I went to the older books and just looked through. This is um, some kind of a dictionary, and it has some words. Well, it has legacy on it and leak, leg. So this happens to be, um, I thought it was a little bit odd. So that's what I'm looking for, something a little bit odd. Uh, these are some sort of graphics of, looks like bird legs of different kinds. And it has letters on it, A, B, C. I like that. And um, just the illustration is a little bit odd. And so I think that would go good with um, the primitive tags. And then in the back, if I really want to use something else, I can use that as well. But for the most part, I wanted this uh, for these uh, illustration right here. And I just pulled out two pages from that book. I went to a few different books. So uh, this one has a bird on it. It's just also, it is just a bird still. I mean, that's nothing odd. Uh, but just the illustration itself, maybe I liked it a little bit um, of a different, other than, you know, a color picture image of a bird. This one here, also black and white flowers which is more standard having flowers but i thought these images uh, just with the way the background uh, looks a little bit uh, shadowy and with light uh, just a little bit different than your normal one so i might use some of these somewhere as well on the back is just writing uh, beautiful writing this is from the book of knowledge the, those very old encyclopedias i do have a few of them um, I'd like to get some more, but um, I'll see. You know, it's just when you go to the thrift store or somewhere, it's all the luck of the draw as far as uh, what it is that you will find that day. It's not like I'll go to the thrift store and find a book of knowledge. It, it just depends on how the stars line up, I guess, um, on that day. Now, this one, I did go to my Transylvania book because they have a lot of uh, these images of their handiwork as far as um, like the uh, maybe kitchen cloths or pillows or their folk uh, dresses that they wear and so on. So it had a lot of different uh, designs on it and... Um, I just chose um, a couple that I tore out, so everything I want everything to have a sort of a torn look. So it's not this was a perfect square, but I don't need the perfect square. I just need a piece of it. Then over here I found bells. Well, they're not odd per se, but that's this uh, little window on top, a little bit dark. I, I might use that for something. And not every image, you know, will end up on a tag, but at least I have some options. So I've uh, put together a bunch of things, and then I will see. Um, these are, well, trees, but this one, um, it has a wagon on the bottom, if you can see it. And uh, I'm not sure if these are maybe uh, gravestones, possibly, but I just like the way the trees lined up together. Uh, something odd about that. So I, I don't know. I like odd things. Uh, this one was um, insects and um, bee, you know, a beetle and so on. So I might uh, stick that on there somewhere. I like it. So let's say even, um, for example, over here where I don't have anything, I could stick the bee right on there as well, right? So uh, this one is some sort of medallion. And in the back is, I don't know, something. And over here some numbers so i'll see what it is i might use whether i actually use this or something on the back uh who knows but and then it has a kind of a name here a little bit maybe latin or something so a little bit 
something different. Uh, this one here is a nail, and then I'm not sure a scorpion of some sort, but also something a little bit strange. Now, primitive doesn't mean it has to be strange. Of course not, but that's the meaning for me. <laughs> something primi primitive, you know, that I don't see every day. So something a little bit unusual. Anyway, anyways, uh, this is a press of some sort. It looks like olive oil press. And then it's got these beautiful vases here and the press itself too. I like it. I like the green color on it. And on the back, well, look at this. It does have a butterfly wing. I mean, just this piece. I could use that. And then uh, it has a close-up of... Um, uh, what is this? Uh, you know, those things that uh, uh, make noise in the fields. What are they called? Oh, my goodness. Grasshoppers. Yes, that's it. So a uh, very, very uh, close up of a, gra a grasshopper. I might possibly use the eye or something like that. This one, I like um, I like looking at what people are uh, choosing also. So which is why I'm doing a whole segment on what it is I have chosen to work with in this case. Uh, this one, I like this here. I don't know. K-R-S-L. It has some kind of um, uh, Latin for Charles. Mm. Anyways, uh, I do have Charles, my husband's, my husband's name. Anyways, um, and then it has uh, two coins or something up here, some heads and so on. Uh, so I might use something like that. Um, I enjoy when there's something in the back as well, but not always you know then this one is uh from uh, that uh, foreign book that i have it is really i believe i don't know if it's russian or or something of that sort um as far as the language it is some sort of slavic language not croatian but um yeah unfortunately uh, i guess maybe everybody's heard about croatia i had a bad earthquake uh, this morning my family's okay, thank goodness, and I think there's been no um, deaths, uh, fortunately. And uh, so this one, uh, these little frogs, they're very, very cute. I don't know if they're primitive per se, but I like the painting, the very uh, rustic kind of very simple painting. So I might use something out of this, and I might use the foreign language here as well. And then um, this, I might use each letter here separately or a piece of it just because well we don't know what it really says on there so it might might draw in some interest like you know what the heck does that mean i don't know but it's interesting so this is another piece of it of this language now this one it comes from drawing book instruction as far as how to draw now i like the single little images I'm kind of intrigued with each one. I would like to see what each one actually is all about. So I might use each one as a, a focus point uh, with some of the other papers that I've chosen. Something to put on top. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but I might use a piece of it. This one actually, maybe this one drew me in the color, the rustic or the um, terracotta sort of color that um, drew me in for this one and then in the back too it has some heads self portraits it said so i might possibly use something like that i like these over here so that and then um you know when you pull out um this is a postage stamp book uh if well it says united states stamps here but i think they're uh from all over and uh of course since I already showed you that I have stamps that I'll be using. And then this one is in uh, black and white illustrations. And then it has quite a few of different types. And I think um, each one might be interesting on its own. This one, for example, I really like this little house here. A uh, cabin of some sort. This might be the cabin um, where Marlene lives. <laughs> from the uh, journal I just did, King's Cross. And um, so there are some different things here on each uh, side here. Uh, there's some sort of a hill or mountain over here. So I'll use that. And then um, I just pulled out uh, two pages out of that. 
wild wildlife over here and then a beautiful lake over here and so on so oh here's another house yeah houses are another thing i really would like to do a whole journal just about the older homes um victorian homes gothic homes or even the colonial homes i like those or any kind of um georgian homes um that i really like seeing just looking at all the details on it so i'd like to do a journal about that then this one is i'm not sure what uh, book this came out of i think some sort of uh, maybe a dictionary type or something so this one i this is what drew me here um this kind of snaky image over here uh, a little bit unusual i mean this trees and greenery is okay but this is quite unusual so and this as well so i'll be trying to use some of that and there's a bit of a map here i can use and then um what well, potatoes the potatoes yeah the yeah they are odd the way they grow i guess down um under the soil and right by the roots and so on and all the leaves are outside so yeah i might use some of that and then i have some greener here if i choose to use that then um this is just you know just your average songbook page but on the back i also have the little keys here as well piano keys and that that is more usual but that's like i might use that for the background and so on this one uh, i have a book about these illustrations our our photos of old boats uh, some boats that um, I don't know they might be more famous for some reason or there is a little bit of a bio but about each one but this one uh, stood out to me just a little bit different um, the way its uh, sails are and so on so I might use you know not the whole ship obviously but I might use a little piece of it uh, somewhere so this one here is just uh, regular paper but i like the brown you know when you buy a bag of potatoes on the outside is it's it's made of two uh, layers of this sort of uh, thicker paper and this is the outside one the lighter colored one so i chose uh, some of that i just love this uh, light brown color so i'll be using some of that and then this just came from some kind of a bag so it is a double layer which i'll try to it's a little bit thick could use it as it is um, but i'm going to try and peel off a little bit i just like the green squares on top here so i cut up the bag i'm not sure if it was broken whatever so i'm going to use one of these pieces that i kept This one is uh, from a book I have. Uh, it's, it's more about um, home decoration, uh, home decorating and so on. Very nice book, but I love the pages. They are matte. They're all matte, not the shiny pages. And when I do uh, pick up books, I do try to look for matte pages, or this is a little bit thicker too, the thickness. Uh, so this could be a tag on its own as far as the thickness i could cut out a piece of it and just make it right into a tag it, it's fine like that but i do like the torn look over here where you can see white so i'm not going to be uh you know staining that with ink i'm not going to ink that in any way i do like the torn look where you see the white edges so i really just want this for the darkness here and then uh tear it up and then get this um, kind of look all around and then I'll use little pieces of it I might still use you know the actual flower and the vase here and so on but for the most part I just want a little bit of a darker look with the with this uh, torn edge look here then I found a really really old book with a, a very well stained uh, naturally stained uh, paper so I might use that in some of the writing or if I see a word I like on it. This one is this one is um, not as old as far as um, the age of the paper, but I like the font on here and um, I like the, the words. 
So I might be using some of that. Then this one is uh, from a, a children's book. And I don't know if you might use the bear or just the birds or even the trees over here. Something from it. I don't know. It just attracted me. I looked up what I could use here. And there definitely could be one of these images that I could use. Or this is a larger font over here or print. So I could be using a single word on here as well. Voices, home, um, you know, whatever it is I might figure out. Bluebird. This is just plain, you know, shopping bag um, that I've cut up. So anytime I have uh, paper bags, I don't throw them out. I just flatten them out and I will stack them up. And then I use this all the time. It's one of the staples. Really, uh, a book page and uh, this is one of the most often papers that I will use. And uh, then maybe the music sheet and then maybe something like this and so on. Then this is uh, something that I was painting on top of. So I was doing other artwork uh, with that metallic paint that I like. And uh, this was just the underneath sheet, which normally, you know, you would throw out. But not in this case, of course, as you know. <laughs> I I do keep that. And I'm thinking, well, I can still use pieces of this. Why can't I? It's got um, beautiful coloring on here of different colors. And very rustic for me here in this area. and um, But still subtle color. So I'm going to use some pieces of that that I kept. Uh, now, this is just a map. I chose the, it has the blue, which may be not so rustic or uh, something for this, but it does have a lot of the brown, which I would like to use. So I'm going to use that. And um, then this is just from, you know, when you buy the um, copy paper, this was the wrapper. And then see, I did use it. I used it up on some of the, the die cuts that I was using for something else. But it does have these uh, darker and lighter yellow that I might use here or there for a spot of color. Now over here, this one is from a book called uh, Lost Civilizations. And it's the best book ever. It does have this beautiful matte paper. And it is a little bit thicker. So you could, again, make a tag just out of this. It's already firm enough. And just, you know, by the time you put some coffee stain paper on the back or some kind of paper for writing, um, you're good to go on this. But I chose this one because of the different, odd, primitive, whatever you might like to call it, architecture for in this case. So I might use bits and pieces of this. Um, either as background or, or central focus or so on. And then it has this one uh, here in the back as well that I can use. So either one is good as something more odd to use. Then this is also from the same book, but this one has some skulls on it. And this here is really uh, what was um, interesting and a little bit different. So this won't be, you know, your your regular flower uh, and so on um, tags but a little bit uh, different and that doesn't mean that I can't put a flower on top just like I did over here right I might add the flowers after the fact uh, but the bottom will stay a little bit more simple so that's from that and that's still from the same book now these are color pages they are a little bit shiny as you can tell and uh, but I might still use some pieces of it because well very interesting here and even the detail right on that and then these as well and these vases now, of course I won't be using the whole vase I'm just going to use pieces of it um, as I see fit as I see that it might fit onto um, my tag and then over here something interesting as well and Okay, so these are, I printed out some of my own uh, digital pages that I put together. And um, sometimes I like to put a ledger piece on the tag, so I might use that. Or a little bit of green uh, leaves or a little bit of flower 
you know it won't be all about the flower but in the background i could use it so i printed this for uh, some of the lettering and um, ledger uh, paper and so on and i believe that's the same or maybe i think i use the same images just in a little bit um, different positions so this one has a little bit more ledger here so when i make these and then i fold them over to put them into my journal then i have a piece of ledger something to write on over here and i have a piece over here and otherwise uh, i just have the beauty around it um, to look at but i like to make these so that you have a little bit of spot to write on as well uh, this one also has spaces here and here to write on and here as well and uh, here i have some uh, print that i could use a little bit of flower and so on so this is just another one that i put together just for my own use i i want to put out and i only have one digital kit so far and i want to put more uh however i haven't had the time really to to make uh, too many of those and then this is just something i scanned uh, some of the uh, lace things that i have some doilies uh, with a little bit of leaves that's still from last year of course because we don't have leaves right now but hopefully soon and then this i have used these in some of the uh some of the pockets and tags from some of the long ones that i've done i'm not sure they might be in one of my kits in my etsy shop so and then this one i made uh quite a while back with all the different pieces of paper so if i'm out of something then i can just go here and print something that i might uh, want and of course my canadian geese are right there and this is just if i really want a little bit more color these pages are just something i printed of my um, own photography of flowers of the details so if i really feel like i'm missing some kind of color um, in a spot i might choose something just a bit of something here so these are all the papers that i have chosen and um, i might work with i'm not you know obviously i'm not going to use everything but i will try to use um, most of it and see how i can put this together so this is um, just sort of like an introduction of what kind of papers i might be using for primitive slash uh, rustic uh, tags that we're going to be doing in this video so let me just put this together for a minute and then um, we're going to go on to the next part we see so let me just finish here and then we'll continue in the next part